Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make some lightning really easily in Photopea and it's gonna look really cool. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you just wanna make a new project or if you already have one, that's not a problem at all. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go down here to new layer and go over here. There should be a gradient tool right here. Just hold left click on like the bottom and hold shift while you drag to the top and then let go. So now it created a gradient effect. Now what you want to do is go up to filter, render, difference clouds, and it will add some clouds to it. Now what you want to do is go up to image, adjustments, and uh, levels. And you'll see there's three little boxes. There's a black one, a gray one, and a white one. And you can see the smoke or like clouds or whatever. There's white, gray, and then dark. So you can see the boxes have that. So to turn them down, you just hold left click on one of the boxes and drag. But before we do this, go up to um, image adjustments and invert. So now it'll make the lightning part white. So if we go back to levels, we can start turning them down. So start with all the black and then turn the dark gray down like that. So that's what you want it to look like. Just hit OK. Now what you want to do is add a solid color. So go down to the bottom half circle and go to color fill. Just turn it to black and you'll see it makes it a new layer. So just drag that below the lightning layer. Now what you want to do is go to the brush tool. Make sure this top box is black and you want the size to be uh, reasonably big. So 181 for me. And if you hold left click, you can erase some of these little extra parts that aren't supposed to be there. I recommend using a soft brush like this one. So it doesn't just completely uh, obliterate everything in its path. It kind of fades it. If you hold Alt and drag with your left click, it will make it smaller. And if you go right, it makes it bigger. So just kind of erase the smoky parts and control Z if you mess up. Yeah, like some of these parts don't really make sense, so just erase them. It's okay if there's some smoke, but try to get rid of some of it. I want it to be a little harsher than that. So you turn your hardness up if it's too soft. Could have been better, but it looks pretty decent. So now what you want to do is you just want to delete the color fill and change this blend mode to screen. So you can't see it because obvious reasons. So I'll just turn this down. And now we got our lightning. And what you can do is go up to hue and saturation by going up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, click colorize. And if you adjust these, I think it's lagging. Hold up. There we go. Turn up the saturation and you can adjust the color of the lightning. So you can have like purple lightning and if you want to rotate it, just free transform it. And you can have like lightning strikes like that. I don't know, but that's how you do it. And each time you do the difference clouds, it'll be different. So you'll never have the same lightning. I know this one looks kind of wonky, but that's basically how you do it. It's pretty easy, just a few steps, and that's all there is to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.